and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel today i wanted to show you my progress for um the not so berry challenge now i'm not going to be doing a series but i will um just give little updates um basically i don't want to do the series just because um i tend to get bored of like legacy challenges i've tried to do legacy challenges and i always get bored i'm hoping that with the not so berry challenge i won't get bored and i'll be able to do all the way to generation 10. um but right now i am on generation 2. um i really really like generation 2. i didn't really like generation 1 very much just because i'm not a huge fan of the scientific career i don't know what it is about it i am just not a fan of it but i'm absolutely loving generation two and i just wanted to show you my progress so far so right here this is my generation two air this is rosaline rosaline berry and i absolutely love her she is something she's something very different um with generation two being the serial romantic one um i did decide to go a different way with her because with the traits for generation two she's got to be hot-headed a snob and romantic her aspiration is a serial romantic and her career is a politician and she's only allowed to have one child so she's honestly not a very good parent she doesn't really care too much about her child she did get pregnant by accident as a teenager because i do have the um mc command center um loaded onto my computer so i was able to get her accidentally pregnant as a teenager she never did want children she never aspired to want children um, she did accidentally get pregnant with York over here. So he is, he is going to be, um, my third generation, the yellow generation. I am really excited for him. And because the yellow generation, um, one of the rules is never have any close friends or relationships other than grandparent from generation one until the grandparent dies. So he is not going to have a good relationship with his mother whatsoever. Um, so, oh, surprisingly, huh, surprisingly, they're friends. Um, but they're not going to have a great relationship as he grows up just because she doesn't really care so much about him. She is very selfish, very snobby, so she cares mostly about herself. Um, but this is. My generation one, Molly. Um, as you see, she is materialistic, a vegetarian, and jealous. And right now, um, he is friends with her, but I do need to work on their relationship just so they are great friends, maybe even best friends. Um, but I think I've got a little while. She's got some time uh, before she turns into an elder. Um, and then this is Rosaline's sister, Raven. Um, I did decide that I wanted Raven to kind of match her mother. Um, so I did make her kind of like mint too. And I think she looks fantastic. I absolutely love Raven. She is a little bit of a techie. And she's going to... Um, she's going to be great at programming. So I think that's kind of where he is going to get his love of you know, technology and rocket science from his aunt. And then down here is the third sibling. This is Rocco. He is still a child and he still lives with Molly and Ernesto. That Ernesto is um, Rosaline Raven and Rocco's father. Um, and with my not so very challenge, I did... Um, decide to do a couple of different things as you see um rosaline raven and rocco they all start with r because generation two is 
the Rose generation. So I did kind of want the first name of the first letter of their names to match the first letter of their generation. Like Mint, I made um, Molly and Yellow. I did York. It was really hard to find a Y male name that I really liked. But I did eventually um, decide on York. You can hear the cat. Um, this right here is Rose. I did decide that every heir was going to have a pet that matched their colors. So we have Rose right here, who's a pretty pink cat. Molly has a mint colored Dalmatian named Mint. And then York has a little yellow dog named lemon he's really cute and i absolutely love him but that is one of the things that i did with my not so berry all right um my son did just wake up from his nap so if you hear any noise in the background i'm definitely sorry about it all right but this is just to show how i'm doing on my not so berry challenge hopefully um, I'll be able to give regular updates just because I'm having a lot of fun with this challenge. Okay, so I'll have, um, I'll have, oh shoot, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know why she's tucking him in. I'm trying to make it so, she, you know, she doesn't really like having a child. He is like a real inconvenience to her because I really enjoy this because most of my sims honestly are great parents and I know myself I do have a three-year-old and I love being a parent so this is definitely something that I've never done before and I absolutely love it it's something really different um but she does I did try the nanny but the nanny didn't really stay so I wanted somebody who would actually stay and take care of York. So I did decide to get a butler. So our butler is Sarah. So she does most of the time take care of York. And I love that he's a toddler now. So he can actually, I can use him and actually ask Sarah for the things that he would need. Like if he's hungry, I can go up to Sarah with him and ask for food. So that is wonderful. I love it. <laughs> it was really difficult when he was a baby because sometimes Sarah didn't do what she was supposed to. But it's okay because she does keep the house clean and she does um, take care of York. So it's great. <laughs> and right now they don't. Right now they don't have a lot of money, but um, Rosalie would make sure that she definitely has enough money to keep around the butler because she is so snobby and so selfish that she would not want to clean up or take care of York on her own. But she is very thankful for Raven. Raven did come to Raven did come to um, live with her sister just so she could help out a little bit. Um, so she could help Rosaline out with York. All right, but I think Raven is actually going to age up today. Yes, she's going to be a young adult today. Um, I haven't decided if I want her to go into the computer career or if I just want her to do programming. Oh, okay, and Rosaline is off to work. Um, right now, right now she is at the level three of the politician career. And she's doing really good at the Charisma skill because she does need to max up the Charisma skill. She's at level 6 of the Charisma skill. And I think she's almost done with the Serial Romantic. Yeah, I think this is the last one for the Serial Romantic. She's doing really well with her Aspiration. Um, she does have a couple of um, love interests, of course. <laughs> So, yeah, she has, a, she has a lot. And let me see, I think, yeah, I think he is the father of York. Unfortunately, um, he is married. I didn't realize that. Um, 
when she got pregnant with York, didn't realize that he was married and he does have two kids. Um, this one, Atticus, he is about the same age as York, which I think is funny. Um, but I think it it's perfect because it really shows who she is. She doesn't really care about anything but herself. But I thought that that was really funny. <laughs> um, but she is at work. So let's have Raven. Okay, it's Sunday. So I don't have to worry about her going to school. Um, so let's have Raven go over here. And program. I don't know if she would really make a vibe. Oh, no, you don't need to. Hack your school grades. Yeah, let's go ahead. I don't know if she would really. Let's go ahead and make a virus because y'all need some money. I don't know if she would make a virus, but it'll make some money. So let's go ahead and do that. And I do try to have like their houses in their rooms um, kind of match their colors like, um, their mother's house it was like the outside of it was a mint color and the inside i tried to use a lot of mint colors and then their rooms i made rosaline's pink and i did a um, make i didn't i did make raven's green oh the flea market is in town too bad that's not geek con Ugh, that would be so perfect for raven <laughs> But I do um, try to make their rooms and everything um, their color. And I've tried to make York's kind of yellowish just so it would match him better. But I do need to work on his a little bit. I like to have it all match just because it looks really cool. <laughs> and I did download a lot of this um, custom content so that I could use the colors and it looks really good and while I was researching the butlers because I've never really used them um, they did have a good idea to have the butler take care of a little garden just because when they take care of the garden um, and the harvestables then they kind of pay for themselves so I thought I would start this little garden I really wish that I had picked a an apartment with a balcony and I could put them out in the balcony. I may have them move to another apartment where they get some money, but this is one that they could afford. Um, let's see. Okay, he's slept long enough, so let's have him wake up. Oh, he woke up angry. Oh, he needs to play. But let's go ahead and have him go to the bathroom and then he can ask for some food. No. Um, let's see. Let's ask her for some food. Where is it? Normally it'll let me do it. Why isn't it let me doing it now? I don't know why it's not letting me do it now. Responsibilities. I don't know. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. But yay, he reached potty training level two. That's awesome. Oh, she's getting a call from who? Oh, from her mother. I'm in the mood for some retail therapy. Want to come haggle your heart out at the flea market? No, not today. We're not going to go to the flea market today. If it had been GeekCon, I would have said yes. But not the, not the flea market. Not feeling the flea market too much. All right, but he definitely needs some fun. And he needs some food. Um, let's see, is there anything in here that I can give him? Okay, yeah, there are some fish tacos in here. I love that the toddlers can really take care of themselves. That is wonderful. Where did the fish tacos go? Like, they completely disappeared. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. They're gone. I don't know where they went. Oh no. Like, I don't know where they went. Crap. 
Okay, so let's so let's see maybe. Uh, I don't want him to ask his aunt. I want him to ask her. It's not letting me for some reason. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. I don't know why it's not letting me. Let's talk to her and maybe that'll help. Like I've never had that. I haven't had that issue before. Like I've had him do it before. I don't, I don't know. What happened? Did he have an accident? Oh, he did. What's with that sound? Oh! Oh goodness, Lemon is getting into... Oh my god. Okay, so let's have Raven no drinking from the puddles. And no playing in the puddles. And let's clean it up. Just because that is gross. And Raven's not above, you know, cleaning up stuff. But Ro Rosaline... She is such a snob that, nope, she has a butler. She's not going to clean. <laughs> but, like I said, I love it because it's something that I've never really played before. So, it is a lot of fun. I'm playing with the MC Command Center. So, I'm, I'm using a lot of stuff that I've never... Here we go. Food. Okay. That I've yes. never used before. So, <laughs> some of this stuff I'm going to need to turn awesome. off. But, I am having a lot of fun testing out... The MC Command Center and doing um, the Not So Berry Challenge. I'm loving. I'm loving this challenge. Come on, ask for some food. Okay, and she's cleaning that up. She is a doll. <laughs> I'm gonna have her give Lemon a bath just because he is absolutely filthy. Um, oh, I saw it right there. Where to go? Give bath. Okay. Wait, what? Who is she getting a call from? I think it was Molly, her mother. I don't know. But she's at work, so she can't really answer it. Anyway, she's going to go again, lemon a bath, and then she is feeding York, which is fantastic. She was almost done making her virus, so I'll definitely have her finish. There we go. Continue making the virus. Oh, and the cat box needs to get clean. I really need to do the... I normally always do the um, one that cleans itself. Just because you have to clean these litter boxes like every day. That is so annoying. But it's like every day or every other day. It is really annoying. So I... I need to switch that out for the self-cleaning one just because that one is a lot less work. Alright, so he's done eating. Where did Sarah go? Um, here she is. Okay, so let's ask her up. Let's be like, we want out! And Rose is sleeping on the table. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let him out. Sometimes it can be really annoying playing yeah, the baby because... Really? Really? Oh my god, Ro Raven's going to have to let him out because she's being stupid. Okay, but let's let him out. Okay, Lemon is nice and clean now. <laughs> He's yellow again. <laughs> Thankfully, Raven is not against working. <laughs> so, I don't know if I want her to have a job. Just because it's really nice to have her around when Rosaline doesn't want to do anything. And she has been promoted to community organizer. She gains an additional 10 or 10 simoleons an hour for a grand total of 49. She has received... 413 simoleons and give expert speech interaction. Fantastic! Alright, that's wonderful, Rosalind. Good job! Would eat a conchu? Yeah, this part. So what is she? Just keep it. Yeah, sure. 
Okay. All right. So awesome. She has her charisma skill that she needs. So she should get another um, promotion soon. All right. But she still does need to earn two more gold dates and then have um, six more boyfriends or girlfriends. So let's actually let's go to the bathroom really quick. Oh my god. I'll have Raven repair that. Alright. Oops. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. Alright, but we'll have her go to the bathroom and then we will take someone out on a date. Thankfully, dates are really easy. Oh, she's not having a problem peeing with her sister in the room. Fantastic! Alright, but we do need to decide who we're going to... Oh, she got level 2 of parenting. Okay, cool. But we do need to decide who we're going to take out on a date. Um, so far, her boyfriends are this guy, I think. Yeah. And... I don't remember... Oh, this guy. Okay. He was the last date. So let's see about taking... Is he married? He might be married. That might be why we can't take him out on a date. Um, let's see. Can we take him out on a date? It doesn't look like it. Can we take him out now? Who do we take out on a date? Okay, let's just do it from the phone because this is really annoying. Um, ask on a date. Oh, we can. I don't know why it wasn't on there, but oh well. Snoobara. So we're gonna take him out on a date. And I really like going to um, the restaurants on a date, so we're definitely going to go to a restaurant just because it's a little easier at the restaurant, and she is hungry, so it's going to kill two birds with one stone. So, I have a nice little restaurant. i got to remember where I put it. I think it's in Windenburg. Yep, here it is. Alright, so let's go on a date. And she's going to have her aspiration done really soon. Which is nice, because I couldn't finish Molly's aspiration. <laughs> I really didn't finish a lot of what Molly needed. I couldn't really get the mischief skill done. It was so slow, so I kind of gave up. And I don't really like the scientist's career anyway. So, although I was able to get her level 10 in the scientist's career, it's not really hard. All you gotta do is get the breakthroughs, so... Scientist's career is not hard. Um, but I am really enjoying Rosaline a lot better than I enjoyed Molly. And I'm hoping that I really enjoy York too. Because he is the one that's going to be... Like, he is going to excel in the rocket scientist. And he's going to be an astronaut. And he's going to love space. So I'm really excited for York's. Alright, but here we are at the restaurant. I really need to change her party outfit because that was her party outfit when she was a teenager. But she wants to be seen as more mature now that she's a young adult. So I did change her um, everyday outfit to a little bit more mature. But I definitely need to change her party outfit. So let's give him a kiss real quick. And then we are going to request a table. See, I love, I absolutely love this outfit. I think it's really cute. And it's kind of still a rose color, but I love it. I think it looks really cute. Where is he going? Where is he going? Like, why are you in the kitchen? Like, why are you kissing in the kitchen? That makes no sense. Oh, well. Okay, go request the table. Because you are hungry and you're tired. And, well, you're not really that hungry. Oh, well. You're tired. But go request a table. Go request a table. 
Come on, Rosaline. Oh, there's Molly. This is Molly. This is um my generation one sim. Oh, I didn't know she was at the restaurant. That's really cool. We'll definitely have Rosaline say hey to her mom. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go to friendly. Did she request a table? Like what happened? I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. That was really weird. Okay, here we go. Requesting a table. Alright, wonderful. Okay, so then she can say hey to her mom, maybe. If it's gonna let me. Is it gonna let me? There we go. Okay. She'd be like, hey, honey. Hey, mom. Okay, so it looks like their table's ready. Oh, and I love his... What's she doing? Where's she going? Oh, is this her table? I don't know. Okay, no, her table's over there. Okay, I thought that was him. But look at him with those lime green pants. He looks good. All right, but let's go ahead and order because she is Buncha, tired. Plus. Hopefully, she won't fall asleep at the table. That would be horrible. Um, let's get let's get some sparkling water just because she's a snob like that. So she would want to have fancy sparkling water. I need to fix the um the main course because this is the only options that we have. So let's just go with. Some fish tacos. Alright, so that'll be perfect. Alright, and let's talk to him because we do need to get this gold. So let's ask about Day. Me ploy your bands, Arises. Okay, so let's do all this Dizzle. stuff again. <laughs> yes. Let's see. New mill, Amsom, Kwasunya, Elfin Obero. All right, so let's do a couple because we need to get their romance up. A Why does she get up and look at her phone? It's weird. Okay, so let's do some of these just because we need to get the romance up a little bit. So that she can ask him to be her boyfriend because she needs six more boyfriends or girlfriends. So let's get this up a little bit. Let's do a sexy pose. And flirt. <laughs> she, I have to admit, is a smooth operator. <laughs> No guy, I don't think, has really turned her down. She is really good at what she does. I have to admit that. Okay, so we have to have another deep conversation, so let's do that. Oh, and their food's out. Wonderful. Oh, awesome. Let's ask to be boyfriend. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> the last guy who um, she had a date with. Unfortunately, he, they got fish tacos and he was a vegetarian. I did not realize that. I felt so bad. But he didn't eat anything, so I guess the computer knew better than me. Okay, awesome. So they are now boyfriend and girlfriend, so that is fantastic. So we're at three boyfriends now. So she can eat and then socialize about the meal. And then we will have a gold date. So let's see. Let's discuss flavor profile. And let's... What else? Let's complain about the dish preparation because she is such a snob. Oops. Hit the wrong thing. And then... Come on, game. And then let's enthuse about meal. Alright, and then that will get us to a gold 
date, which Ooh, is Reed. fantastic. She is really close Nibner. to getting her serial aspiration or serial romantic aspiration, no. which I'm so excited about. No. Alright, come on, come on. Yay, fantastic, we got our second goal. Oh, I got my second goal date. I am so excited about that. So I'm just gonna let them finish up their date. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this little look into my Not So Berry Challenge. If you want to see some more updates about my Not So Berry Challenge, let me know and I will definitely post more updates. Like I said, it's not going to be like a series just because I don't want to start it and then get bored with it, but I'm hoping that I won't. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like down button down below. And subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And definitely in the comments, leave me some ideas for my Disney videos or any regular speed builds. Or if you want to see more of my Not So Merry Challenge. Well, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.